Hi everyone, Matt with SplitDragon.com here. Today I'm going to walk you through Lazada sponsored products. So sponsored products are a critical part of any Am successful Amazon uh, selling business now. Um, basically, sponsored products is the very early version of pay-per-click advertising within the Lazada platform. Um, and I'll walk you through it right now. I think you'll see that it's, it's quite simple, um, but there's a lot of movement in this area and sellers need to pay attention to it because it's going to be uh, a great opportunity uh, to get more visibility for your products. So where we are right now um, with uh, sponsored products is you navigate into promotions, scroll down to sponsored products, and you click here. So um, basically, you can see uh, all of the, the critical information about any active campaign that's running right now. So you would have uh, the campaign name, the start date, the end date, the budget, which you can set and modify, uh, it's set at a daily level, um, and it'll communicate to you how much budget has been spent, what impressions, clicks, units sold, and the sales revenue from that individual campaign. So this is very similar to what you see in other platforms as well. Um, so we'll just go ahead and walk through. Uh, actually, I'll jump back and go ahead and go to performance dashboard to just give you an indication of, of what it is that you have. But this is really just a snapshot of all of your campaigns. So if you have uh, you know multiple campaigns that are active and you can see in this test count, I, I do not, you, you, you can see a lot of uh, information here uh, that's that kind of summarized and you can filter your spend for the last one month, last 30 days, et cetera, uh, and get some, get some valuable information. So uh, let's go ahead and, and jump in and, and, and start creating a campaign, okay? So we go ahead and we could put this as Matt's uh, PP PPC campaign and the daily budget, we'll just arbitrarily put it as five Singapore dollars. You see uh, right here, there's a minimum of five and a maximum of 20. And we go ahead and we go to next. Uh, from here, you just basically need to pick your products, right? So you can group your products. I, I tend to recommend doing it based in like the... Um, uh, a group of products that uh, have a similar profit per unit when sold. Because if you have multiple products in an individual campaign with the, about the same profit per unit, you can know what your, your average cost of acquisition needs to be in order to break even. When I talk about average cost of acquisition, um, maybe it's easiest if I give an example. So let's say that I'm selling dresses, okay? And for each of my dress, for each dress sold, I'm averaging profit of about $5 uh, per dress sold. So that means that I need to convert one sale for every five Singapore dollars spent in pay-per-click. But if I if I have all of my dresses in an individual campaign or some dresses in a campaign, then it's easier for me to um, make that assumption without having to dig into the numbers uh, and, and spend a lot of time doing that over and over again. But if I have sandals where I'm making a dollar per sale um, and uh, suitcases where I'm making $25 per sale and dresses where I'm making $5 per sale all in the same campaign, it's difficult for me to, to, to be sophisticated. So in, in this case, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to collect my products. You can see that there's no ability for me to modify my cost per click. Okay, so cost per click, it's fixed, it's set by Lazada, and then you're stuck with it. That's it. So we'll go ahead, two addresses. Now we set my campaign date. I can go ahead and go here, click create now, and then boom, the campaign is created and it's running. I don't want it to run because it's a test account, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. But you also have the ability to go here, and you can click edit, modify things, um, and, uh, and and see how the campaign is going. You can add or remove products, and that's it. You know, So I think really to understand the value of this, you need to see uh, where it's displayed because this looks like it's you know pretty valuable. This is uh, quite similar to what you see within you know Amazon or a Taobao, um, but the the only difference is the the level of visibility that you have within sponsored products. So right now, sponsored products are really only displayed on the side of PDP pages. So uh, I think in, in Amazon, we're we're accustomed to uh, the first couple results. Okay, being sponsored products. So let's just go to Amazon.com as a bit of a reference. And uh, I'll show you right here the first couple of results for basketball. <coughs> and you can see, boom, it's sponsored. Boom, it's sponsored. Okay, so you got to pay to play in Amazon. Uh, where in Lazada, organic is what matters. 
And that's part of the reason we built Split Dragon because it's a tool that would help you improve your SEO because SEO is is, is more important than anything. You can't pay to win uh, like you can within Amazon. Um, so where 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 are the the sponsored results displayed within Lazada? Uh, you, and you can find them if you navigate over here. Okay, so it's only only on the right hand side of the product detail page. So you're not getting very many eyeballs. You're not getting a lot of impression from your advertising spend. I would I would encourage all sellers to turn it on um, because there's a possibility that when I'm looking for this basketball, I can be presented with this basketball and that would make me want to go here and purchase this and set and then boom, you have a sale. But I mean, the, the, the reality of the matter is that you're not going to get a lot of impressions with the current pay-per-click model. So uh, organic search is a lot more important, but I, I think just because it's not a very powerful feature yet, because they're not giving visibility for the paid search results to valuable locations. Um, I think that, that doesn't mean you shouldn't use the feature. You should certainly use the feature because there's opportunities for you to get additional visibility. And with the cost per click so low of four cents, you know, uh, you can, you can, you know, you can convert one out of one out of every hundred clicks and, and break even, right? Uh, at a at, at five dollars profit a unit, so uh, I I would encourage all sellers to set up the, set up their pay per clicks um, and break it up into uh, campaign types and get ready for this feature to come out because it's going to come from Lazada before long and it's going to be really really valuable to sellers and it's going to be something that you're going to have to crack uh, in in order to, to 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 really win at at selling on Lazada. So that's an overview of uh, Lazada's pay per click tool. Um, it's called Sponsored Products. It's available in Promotions on the left side and then Sponsored Products. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please just leave a message uh, at, at the bottom of this video in, in YouTube. Uh, and if you enjoyed this content, uh, please let us know by subscribing at uh, splitdragon.com or referring us to your friends, uh, anything to help keep us moving. Um, I, I think that's all for today. Uh, thanks for your time, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.